Today I wanted to do something a little bit different and I was just going to go over a little bit of product review on the ISO bag versus the six pack bags. So I have both, oddly enough. Um, if you're a competitor, you know that it can be a real pain in the butt to <clears throat> prep and get everything going. And so maybe you're looking at one of the bags and this could be a helpful review. So here we go. All right, so as you can see, there's a <clears throat> noticeable difference in size between the two. The ISO bag is wider. The six pack bag is taller. Okay. So let's start off with the six pack bags. I do like that it's taller. That's nice. Um, <clears throat> mostly, I like that it's taller due to the fact that I can put things like a large bottle of crystal in there or I can fit a large bottle of Frank's Red Hot in there. Not only can I fit both of those, it is separated as well. So that you can fit other things in there. Separators right there, right? So, I can also keep pre-workout in there. A little bit of Core Fury. Probably the best pre-workout I've ever set, had. And since I'm in prep and I get hungry, I like the Core Burn in there also. So, Some mustard in there too. The other side is going to be pretty much the same thing. Okay? So, with the six pack bags, you have this that comes in, it comes out as well. I'm not really going to take it out, it's just kind of a platform for the dishes, right? It comes with uh, what I would consider the better of the two when it comes to the ice packs, um, at least so far. Uh, and there is a little bit of a mesh pouch on the top to carry stuff, okay? Uh, they say it's a three meal, uh, but you could probably fit more, uh, depending how large your meals are and how you want to set everything up in here. Because like I said, this comes out and that gives you a pretty decent amount of room to carry everything in. Um, now, I think the insulation on this one is probably um, a little bit better, but not much. They, they both keep things cold for about uh, 8 to 10 hours if they're still in the inside and in the AC. Uh, if I leave them in my car for the Florida weather, um, they do not stay cold anywhere near as long, especially during summer. So, like I said, this is kind of cool. It's nice to have this, um, but... Now, with the six-pack bags, they come with a different type of containers. They have snap lids, which is kind of cool. However, uh, if you microwave them, they get all whacked up and out of shape. So, I don't use those um, very often. Also, uh, they tend to be a little small for my meals. I, I like to put in a lot of like things like broccoli and stuff. So, it doesn't fit quite so well. Now, this one's only supposed to be a three meal bag in the first place, but like I said, it works quite well for me, and I'm a big fan of the six pack bag, okay? So, that in mind, and they both come with handles and straps, obviously. In comparison to that, we have the six pack bag uh, containers. Now, you only get three of them, but then again, I also only got the three meal bag with them. So, they're much thicker, uh, much more heavy duty. I've put these in the microwave. Um, the lids to these do not like being in the microwave, they do get warped. So, a heads up on that. Um, but, all in all, I'm very, they're, they're a lot sturdier. I'll put it that way. As soon as you get that on, they kind of clip on and clip in. Um, so, 
and they, they fit a reasonable amount. Um, so they're a little bit bigger, the or about the same size as the second biggest one of the ISO bag. So I can fit prep meals in these um, fairly. Again, it's a little bit limited, but it works. Um, and then that's those are the main differences on the two uh, for the Tupperware that they come with. That's if you even care about it, because let's be honest, you can go buy Tupperware from Walmart if you really want to, and it's pretty cheap. Next is the ISO bag. Now, this is the wider of the two. This is the six meal ISO bag. Um, there's not, I don't really have much in here right now. So instead of having the two compartments inside with this, I have one compartment inside. I have just a different type of pre-workout in there, and it's just a cheap one. <coughs> and I play the mesh on the outside to carry something in as well. <coughs> Same on the other side. One insulated pocket, <coughs> one mesh. Normally there's about a small bottle of crystal in there. Okay? So, pop that off. This one's a little bit different. And as, <laughs> yeah, skinny cow treats. The top does not connect through to the bottom, so this is its own separate entity. It's a small mesh thing, and there's no Velcro to keep this one closed. So, I mean, that doesn't really affect me. I don't notice it. It doesn't bother me. Uh, I'm pretty apathetic about it. Either way, when it comes to the top compartments. Okay. Now, you do have to load from the ice bags from the top compartment on the six-pack bags. On this bag, they actually go inside these side pockets right here. This actually also, if you see the Velcro in here, it comes with a divider as well. So you have three and three. Uh, you can fit another one of their small ice bags in here and one on each side so this one like I said about the same eight to ten hours if you keep it in the AC it keeps my food cold um, I do like that I can fit a little bit more food in here uh, I do not as much care for the side pockets for the ice bags they're a pain to get in um, you know it's just a small annoyance and it's early, always early in the morning when I'm prepping things up so that bothers me um, other than that, the ice packs that come with this, they did not last very long. They got holes in them and uh, lost some of whatever the filling was pretty quick. Um, uh, whether or not that matters to you, I don't know. Uh, and then the same deal with the... This one also came with its own Tupperware, um, which I don't use that Tupperware either. Uh, a couple of them are okay. Uh, they give you a couple different sizes. Um, and the large ones fit my meals for the most part. Uh, the smaller ones, once again, it's about the same size as the six-pack bag ones, um, except they're a little bit less heavy-duty. Um, the ones that come with the six-pack bag are thicker. Um, just they, they seem a little bit higher quality. The ISO bag ones, not so much. Um, really, I just use simple Rubbermaid ones that I buy from Walmart because they fit and they're cheap. Okay, and so <clears throat> here we have the ISO bag containers. Uh, the only nice part I really liked about the ISO bag containers is that there's different sizes. So it already automatically comes with a couple sizes. But the small size, yeah, I'm not going to use that. I eat more than that. I can barely fit a, pre a, a meal for when I'm in prep in these ones. And the bigger sizes are okay. Um, problem being, you only get a couple of the bigger sizes ones. So, I end up just using uh, Rubbermaid stuff. And uh, if you look at these, they're very thin plastic. They're kind of flimsy. They're you know they're not the best, the most quality stuff. Um, if you look at the toppers, again, like, it's nice because it's lightweight. But at the same point, I mean that's really all it does. Um, I haven't had an issue with anything falling out of them. But like I said, just kind of. Not as sturdy, we'll say that, alright? Um, you know. So, that's pretty much the ISO bag. 
Um, like I said, they both come with straps. They both have hand straps as well. Um, the ISO bag, I did notice, it kind of squeaks on the strap a little bit. Most people probably wouldn't care about that. Uh, I, however, when I'm at USF and I'm walking in from the dirt lots outside, it's kind of annoying to have to hear. Very small thing. I don't really get that same problem with the six-pack bag. Uh, out of the two, I like them both. Uh, I got a good deal on both of them. I probably would say I like the six-pack bags better. Um, just for a number of reasons, but it, it's a little bit more convenient, especially when you don't need a lot of meals. That being said, if you're the kind of person where you're doing five to six meals a day and you need to have those all day, well then the ISO bag would definitely be the way to go. But if you're, say, like me, and I'm home for breakfast and I'm home for dinner, and I don't need to take those with me, then the six-pack bag would be my best bet. That would be my recommendation, just because, uh, you know, it, it seems like it's a little bit better all around, you know, at least in my opinion. So that's th those are the two bag reviews that I wanted to do. So, you know, keep it in mind, everybody has different preferences, everybody likes different things. Um, hopefully that gives you some sort of insight and helps out a little bit on exactly what you might be looking for with a bag. 